Hi everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, so today we're gonna revive an old subject that I'm still confronted with and this is fertilizing orchids. Now if you watched my previous videos, if you're a subscriber, you know that I have some issues with my orchids with some nutrient deficiency. I have reached the conclusion that it really is a deficiency indeed. It's abnormal for my orchids to have pale leaves. It's absolutely abnormal. So what I decided to do is actually try out a brand new fertilizer. Now in my area, I do not find a wide variety of fertilizers like you lucky guys from the USA. I noticed you have quite a wide variety to choose from. I unfortunately don't. I have to order this one as well. And this is a fertilizer that I just ordered from Schwerter. This is actually the fertilizer they use. They bottle it up for you nicely and they sell it on their website. And it's actually more expensive than this one. Now, I decided to try out this fertilizer for a very good reason. I'll show you. Now, do you see these numbers here? As many of you know, they represent the percentage in which the macronutrients are available or are mixed in this fertilizer. The first one would be nitrogen and then uh, phosphorus and then potassium. The last one here that you see, the fourth one, some fertilizers use it, is actually the quantity of magnesium, which is starting to be considered a macronutrient for orchids as well, but it's not necessarily needed in such big quantities like the other ones. Now take a look at something. Do you see the quantity of nitrogen this fertilizer has? And it's the grow one, it's not the bloom booster. Compared to the quantity this one has, now there is a very, very big difference between these macronutrients numbers. Comparing the other trace elements, I don't find such a big difference, such a big uh, discrepancy between them actually. But I have an issue with the macronutrients. Now, I have been searching for other um, fertilizers out there, the ones that you guys have in the USA, and what I've noticed is that none of them have low quantities like this orchid focus grow that I have here. They're pretty much comparable with this one, let's say. Of course, you can have higher values than this, but this is the biggest one that I found, the highest values that I found. Now, this is a bit worrying for me. This might actually explain why my orchids grow like they have a deficiency of nitrogen. It's either magnesium or nitrogen. They are pretty similar in, uh, in the way they grow. And if you don't know how a deficiency looks like, I will show you an example. Now, this is my Phalaenopsis tetraspis, and I'm really not sure how it looks on the camera, but the foliage is really light green and it's not supposed to be quite like this. It is supposed to be light but not like this. If you can see right here at the base of the leaf the color gets even worse, even paler. Now this is not normal. The sore kid has a lot of roots in the pot, I'll not show you but it does. Also has a little flower spike here coming so that's nice but I'm really not sure what to say about the foliage. Looking at it I feel that it's starved and I think it's starved by the lack of nitrogen. So what I intend to do is actually switch from this fertilizer to this fertilizer just to give it a go. Now Schwerter says they use this fertilizer for 40 years. I don't know if that's true, but I'm willing to take the chance and I'm willing to believe them. Because they always have such beautiful foliage, their orchids, you know my last video, have the most beautiful green foliage you've ever seen and they don't seem to stay like that in my conditions and I'm wondering why because humidity I can provide humidity ventilation I can provide bright light I have such big bright light you cannot imagine so what's the problem could it be the fertilizer actually and I'm actually missing on a better fertilizer by using this one now, there is a sort of a calculator for the dosage of nitrogen out there. I think it's on Ray's Orchids or something like that. I will give you the link in the description. Practically, you can calculate how many teaspoons of fertilizer you should use with your orchids to get a certain quantity expressed in parts per million of a certain value, of a certain uh, nutrient, let's say nitrogen. So I calculated it and it seems that with this one, I'm seriously underfeeding my orchids. Well, with this one, with the same dosage that I use for this one, I would be in the best range or desired range of quantity of nitrogen. However, there are a few issues that I need to address with both fertilizers. Now, the first one would be the low values with the orchid focus grow. The second one would be that this fertilizer seems to have nitrates, which I tend to think they're good or more easily available for plants, and 6% ammonium. 
Now, with ammonium, there are people who say orchids can take ammonium like this and people who say they cannot. I am leaning towards the nitrate source more, but I might be wrong. I really don't know everything there is to be about orchids. And considering the fact that orchids are epiphytes, they might be that well adapted to absorb ammonium in this stage as well. So not wait for it to break down in certain compounds and then lead up to nitrate. So I'm willing to try it out and willing to say that ammonium might be absorbed by orchids. I am not sure, but I'm willing to try it out. Another issue that I have with this fertilizer, if you look here at the dosage, I know this is German, but I have a translation for it. What it says here is I should dose 10 milliliters to one liter of water. Now this is huge. It's a huge quantity. Nobody would recommend dosing this much. But maybe I'm missing something. Maybe nurseries know more than we do. I am not taking risks. I will actually um, use that calculator to dose this fertilizer to my orchids. But I might do an experiment and actually dose this large quantity to one single orchid and see how it handles it, see if it's okay or if it actually grows better. Maybe nurseries do dose more fertilizer than we do and maybe that's why their orchids look so, so pretty. So for all of these reasons, I decided to try out another fertilizer and this is the best one I could find around me. And I do trust Schroeter. Um, I do trust them as much as to give it a go and see how my orchids do because I am telling you there is something really wrong with nutrient uptake or um, deficiency with my orchid collection and I cannot find any other answer. Now, before I leave you, I just want to talk about a few more things. Somebody suggested that I use, instead of these fertilizers, I use coconut milk. Well, to be honest, I have an issue with that. Coconut milk doesn't seem to have any nitrogen, so my orchids will actually be depleted of nitrogen and some other trace elements which coconut milk does not contain. I'm not saying it's not a good additive, maybe you can try it out along with your normal, normal fertilizer, but I don't think it's enough, really. Now, other people suggest that I use seaweed extract. Now, I don't find it so easy around here. I might try to go on eBay and see if I can find a source next to me at a decent price or something like that. Um, so I've never tried it, I cannot really say. But what I would like for you guys that use seaweed to tell me, what does it contain? What are the substances that help my orchid? Does it have nitrogen? Does it have potassium? Does it have trace elements? What does seaweed contain? Is it just a hormone? Is it just, I don't know, humic acid? What is seaweed? So please, if you guys know, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on uh, the whole seaweed thing and why do you think it helps your orchid? Is it just an additive or can it replace a normal, normal fertilizer? Can it actually provide all these substances that actually plants in general need? So alrighty guys, thank you for watching. I'm really sorry this is not such an informative video. I'm really at a loss sometimes with some things and fertilizing seems to be one of those things that I need to test a lot, a lot more. And I would be a lot happier if I had more fertilizers to choose from and more information. But I guess I will do my best to learn and to experiment. So let me know what you think about these values. Have you ever seen a fertilizer with these low values? Also, have you ever used Ray's calculator of dosing the, the correct PPM, you know, parts per million dosage? What do you think about that? Does it work with your orchids and so on? So anyway, we can have a discussion in the comments below. Let me know what you think about all this issue. I would actually like to leave out from the discussion the organic fertilizers. Um, I'm not really sure how they work. I'm not really sure where they come from, if they have you know, edit antibiotics from the animals they came from and so on. There's no way for me to actually use many of them just yet. I'm sticking to my chemical fertilizers because they do contain what I need from them. Um, so let's not discuss about that just yet because I'm not too well informed about them. And until I am, um, you know, I cannot have a proper discussion about organic fertilizers just yet. But do let me know what you think about the non-organic fertilizers, these guys, and about these values. And yeah, just let me know how fertilizers worked for you, what quantities worked for you, and so on. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll reach a conclusion regarding fertilizing orchids. How to dose fertilizers? Maybe this is the trick to pretty orchids? I don't know. 
So I, uh, I want to thank you for watching this and if you want to see more videos, more informative videos, don't forget to subscribe, leave me your questions and suggestions and comment below and I will see you next time. Thank you for bearing with me. Bye!